Today is going to be such a fun video. I have been waiting to do this for the last few weeks. So about a week or two ago, I was at my parents' place and I was in one of those moods where I really just wanted to look at old photos. So I was going through all of our old photo albums and I ended up kind of stumbling upon one of my mom's old modeling portfolios. My mom modeled for a couple years, I think in her teens and then maybe her early 20s. Um, it wasn't like a long-standing career, but there was definitely a little modeling era in her life. The pictures that I found were gorgeous. I thought they were so beautiful and I ended up taking photos of them and posting them on my Instagram story. Reminiscing with my mom, I brought out her old modeling album and like, look at what a hottie. <laughs> like, excuse me, cowgirl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It was before straighteners. Your, your hair looks so nice. It's so voluminous. Very 80s. All the messages were either you look exactly like your mom, oh my god, you were your mom's twin, or oh my god, you need to do a video recreating these looks. So. Here we are. Now throughout my whole entire life, I've always had my my mom's friends and my family tell me how much I look like my mom from when she was like younger, in her teens or her early 20s. But it's strange because our actual facial features are not the same at all, like our nose and lips especially. So my whole goal for today's video, and I'm so excited to do this, is to recreate my mom's old modeling photos and see how similar I can actually get to her look. Hi mom. Hi. Um, how old were you in those modeling photos? Uh, 18. You were 18? Yeah. Oh my god, you look like such a mature woman. No, but like mature in like the best way. Like I, you don't look 18, that's crazy. Yeah, 18, 19. So what year was that then? Either 79 or 80. So of course the styling of these photos, the makeup, the hair, the clothes are very you know, part of that era. This is probably the best photo where you could see her makeup the clearest and it's Hard to kind of distinguish what's going on here because it is a black and white photo, but you can see that there's definitely a lot of darkness going on on the lips and on the eyes. As far as the clothes go, not anything too crazy. She's wearing kind of like a cowboy outfit in one of the photos, so I'm gonna have to get like a jean shirt and a little like neck scarf and a hat. In the next photo, she's dressed very like, I'm about to steal your man, but I'm also a lady. So we are going to be doing this transformation in four different steps. The first step is the thrift store. I'm gonna go to the thrift store. I'm gonna try and pick up the clothes that um, match these as best as possible. Once I hopefully find the right clothes, I'm gonna come back home. I'm obviously gonna do my makeup as well as my hair. So that's step number two and three. And then step number four is gonna be the very, very, very fun part. And that is the photo shoot. So like I said, first step is going to the thrift store. So I'm going to be going to the thrift store called Eva B or Ava B. Not sure how to say that one. So this is a thrift store that's on Saint Laurent in Montreal and I've never been there before and it seems to have quite an eclectic selection of clothes. So I'm really excited to check it out and hopefully we'll be able to find the right pieces there. All right, fingers crossed, let's go to the thrift store. I'm already overwhelmed. I gotta say that store is probably one of the coolest thrift shops I've ever been into. If you live in Montreal, if you're visiting Montreal, highly recommend that you guys check it out. We also give you free popcorn, which is the coolest thing ever. It was only a semi-successful shopping run though as far as what I needed. I got mostly everything I need for like the cowboy outfit. I got a jean shirt that looks very, very similar to the shirt that my mom is wearing. And then I got a neck scarf, but it's not really exactly what I needed. So I got it just in case I didn't find anything else. So I'm gonna go and try another thrift store. I gotta still get a jacket, a skirt, and the shirt that goes underneath the jacket, and a cowboy hat <laughs> because they didn't have any cowboy hats in there. So. Fingers crossed we find something in the next one. Let's go. So I'm back home. Thrift shopping slash finding clothes was just not as successful as I was hoping it would be. I did find almost everything I needed for one of the outfits, but I found literally nothing I needed for the second outfit except for a watch. I even went to my mom's closet, did not find anything of use in hers either, which was kind of ironic. Currently in my mom's closet, staring at her clothes and in all these things, I find nothing. My luck today is like... Bleh. 
this big. I kind of forgot about a few pieces that I own myself that I feel like will work. They're not gonna be as spot on as I was hoping for, but they're gonna be, I think, good enough that I'll be able to kind of maneuver them and make them work. I also need to find out how to actually do the hair that my mom has. I don't think it's gonna be too hard. It's kind of just like a really flippy, voluminous blowout. Again, <laughs> fingers crossed, I'll be able to do it justice. So I'll see you guys for me in a few minutes. For you, it's gonna be right. So I dampened my hair because I want to get as much volume as possible. So I kind of need to remold it and re-blow dry it. I'm going to spray some of this Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Spray at my roots. I'm not kidding when I say I am just so bad at hair. I know how to do two hairstyles and that's straight and wavy and that's it. So my mom's hair in these photos is very like Farrah Fawcett. There's a lot of flippiness, there's a lot of volume, the bangs are like a big thing. There's, she clearly has like short bangs and she kind of like flips them up and out like that. I don't have bangs. I also don't have the same length hair that she has in these photos. My hair's a lot shorter. So I've got my Dyson blow dryer, a small round brush. I'm just gonna get to work. So now I'm gonna take my T3 curling wand and I'm gonna take this very large barrel and just kind of go over everything and really solidify that flip. Hi. Mom, do you remember how you used to do your hair? Like, how do you make it yeah. so flippy? I used to use a round curling brush and I would do it and like flip it with my the brush, like do it forward and turn the brush backwards. Like you do with a curling iron, but I did it with a brush. So if I use a it's curling like, iron, I can do the same type of thing more effectively. Well, no, if you didn't use a curling iron, because a curling iron makes it straight and instead of fluffy. Right. If you do it, you do it with a brush, it's not as flat. Right. And that gives it the flip. Do you remember what kind of makeup you were wearing in those photos? Like what colors they were? It was probably black around my eyes. Yeah, and it was a dark lipstick. Like a red or a brown? It wouldn't have been brown. So like more of a red? Yeah, like a burgundy, you know? Got it. So I'm going to re-dampen my hair just slightly and I'm gonna go in with my Dyson Airwrap. The reason why is because this is going to flip my hair using just hot air and not heat like the curling iron is. So I feel like it's gonna give a similar texture to what my mom was talking about since she said she didn't use curling irons and I feel like this is, this is gonna be my answer. <laughs> Okay, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm pretty happy with it actually. I mean, it obviously looks a little bit different, especially since my mom's hair is so much longer, but I think it has a very similar vibe to it. So now it's time to move on to something that I'm actually good at, which is the makeup. So I'm gonna start off with the foundation and face because there's no questioning what she has going on there. So this portion of the video is in partnership with Lancome. I'm gonna be talking about their Tante Edel Ultra Wear Foundation. This is a very, very, very long wearing foundation with about like a medium coverage. I really like this, especially for photographs, which is perfect for what we're doing today because it really perfects the skin. You don't need to use a lot to get good coverage and it's very, very light and breathable. So it's not going to make your skin look or feel heavy, which is definitely a must for me because as you guys know, I don't like really heavy foundations. Even if I do want more coverage, I still want my skin to look like skin and this foundation is really great for that. It does come in 45 different shades, which is great. I'm in the shade 360 Bisque Neutral. So I'm gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand. I probably wouldn't even need that much. And I'm just gonna dot this on one side of my face at a time. And I'm taking just a flat foundation brush to blend this in. This color matches me literally perfectly. You can see how nicely that kind of blends and just like meshes into the skin. The finish does lean more on the matte side, but I would say it's more of like a natural matte, so it doesn't look totally like flat and lifeless on the face. You can see on my skin right now that there is like a nice little glow. It doesn't look chalky at all, which can sometimes happen with matte foundations, especially if you do have dry skin. Um, so that's something that I do appreciate. And I think because of that finish, that's why this does last for such a long time. Like I said, it is a really, really long wearing foundation. So it's not a foundation that's really gonna slip and slide. It sets down, it stays down, and it's not going to move. Lancome is also offering you guys 20% off the foundation with this promo code right over here. So if you are interested in checking out, now is a great time because you are able to 
get it at a bit of a discount. So now that we have the base down, I'm gonna move on to the eyes and then I'll move back to the face a little bit later just in case we get any fallout since we are gonna be using pretty dark colors. So for my eyeshadow pile today, I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay Born to Run and I'm gonna be using mostly the neutral shades in here. So my mom's eyeshadow is definitely not the most blended in the world. It looks a little bit blocky, which I'm not surprised because I feel like that was just sort of the thing in the 70s and 80s. So we are going to recreate it, but I'm gonna make it, you know, a blended version. I'm gonna upgrade it a little bit. So I'm first gonna go into Weekender, which is a nice transition shade. So I'm just gonna pop that right above my crease. And it definitely looks like she has a little bit of shadow towards the inner corner of her eye. And I'm also really going to flick this out straight across, because we're gonna be really wigging out this eyeshadow. It also looks like she probably has a dark shade on her actual lid as well. So I'm just connecting that dark brown also on like the outer corner of my eye. So it's one continuous shape. And again, bringing it towards the inner corner in my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the deep dark browns. I'm gonna take Punk, which is this really, really dark warm brown. And I'm going to again, do the same thing, just more concentrated into the crease. And I'm also going to Bring that on my lid as well. So now that we have the top part of the lid done, I'm gonna go in with my concealer to clean up underneath my eyes. I actually didn't really get any fallout. To also clean up on that outer corner to make it nice and sharp. So now for the lower lash line, it doesn't look like her lower lash line is super smoked out, but it's still very, very dark, but it's closer, like tighter to the actual lashes. So I'm gonna go in with the same dark brown and mix it with the black. And it looks like, like the dark color goes all the way around the eye, even towards like the inner corner. So my mom definitely has a nude or white eyeliner on her lower lash line. So I'm going to apply some on myself as well. For lashes, doesn't look like she's wearing falsies, but she's definitely wearing a lot of mascara on her upper and lower lashes, so I'm gonna do the same. My mom's brows are definitely very thin in this photo. The shape isn't the best. They look a little bit spermy, sorry mom. But they do look pretty defined, so I am going to define my brows as well. So for my cheeks, I'm gonna use a powder that's gonna work for both my contour and my bronzer. So I'm gonna just take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 120. It's a really, really good color. And I'm just going to simply bronze my face as I normally would. For blush, this isn't the mid 80s. So the blush isn't super like intense and noticeable. I can't even tell honestly if she's even wearing blush. Obviously these pictures are in black and white, so it's not super obvious. So I think because we are doing such a dark, deep lip, I'm not gonna do a super intense blush. You know, I think I'm just gonna take this blush right over here from my Hourglass Unlocked palette. It's like a peachy color and just pop that on. It's pretty neutral, but it's still gonna add a little bit of something to the cheeks. So for the lip, her lip is beautiful and dark and deep and my mom did say on the phone that it was most likely a red. So I'm gonna go in first with the dark red lip liner. This is 46 from Bite. So for my lipstick, I'm gonna take this one from MAC. It's in the shade Maison Rouge. Now that it's all finished, I feel like it's starting to really come together. So now it's time to finally put on the clothes, put together the outfits and take those photos. Let's do it. So I'm in my closet right now. So I'm going to do the skirt outfit first. I actually have this skirt over here from Aritzia. It's like a light pink color. I feel like this is going to be perfect. Um, I can't believe I didn't think of this first. I also have this polo shirt from Zara, which is so perfect. Again, can't believe I didn't think of this. It's really a very, very similar vibe. Now the only other thing that I need is a blazer. I think the closest blazer and or jacket that I have is going to be this guy. It is pink, but it really doesn't matter because the picture is gonna be black and white. So this is what the outfit looks like, okay? It's so ugly. Trust me, I know. I mean, without the blazer, it's kind of cute, just really not my style, but Besides all of that, I think this is actually gonna work. Okay, I'm setting up the shot in my bedroom because in my mom's photos, it looks like she's posing against a dark wall. This is the only dark wall that I have in my house, so it's gonna have to do. I have my light here that I'm going to use to light up the photo. In the photo, it does look like there's more light on her left side, so that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. So once I get the lighting kind of right, I'm going to kind of fix up my hair and then it's time to actually shoot these photos. Thank you. 
Okay, I think I did it. I think I actually got the shot, you guys. So I think next I'm going to do the portrait shot, which looks like this. So it's literally just neck up. And then it's time for the cowboy look. Okay, uh, is it 1978 or what? Because this is literally the exact same outfit that my mom was wearing. So this is the jean shirt that I got at the thrift shop. Now it is a little bit big, so I actually had to pin it in the back so that it was tight, but you're not gonna see that in the photo, so it doesn't matter. This neck scarf is not the one that I purchased. It's actually much better. I feel like it resembles a little bit more what my mom was wearing, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then this is just a random hat that I already had. This is classic Canadian tuxedo territory. I'm loving it. This shirt, you guys, also has literally the exact same W as my mom. Come on. I think we're officially done taking the photos. I really, really, really hope that they turned out good. I hope I got like the angles right because that could definitely make or break the picture. I'm now gonna bring them onto my computer and I'm gonna edit them and then I'll show you guys the finished result. Hi guys, so a couple days have passed since the last time I filmed anything for this video. I just finish editing the photos and I don't know how I feel about them. I don't know if it's because I've been staring at the photos so much trying to edit them to get them to look as much as the photos as possible. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to uh, the printing store and I'm gonna get these photos printed and I'm gonna present them to my mom and we're gonna do like a side by side with her actual photos and we'll see what she thinks. So hopefully she likes them. She gets a good little kick out of it. Um, and then this challenge is finally done. So here's my mom. This is actually the first time she's in this video. Should I show you my favorite one first? No. I'll show you my middle. Oh wait, no, I wanna show you my favorite one okay. first. So my favorite one is this one over here. Uh, this is you, in case you couldn't tell. Oh! Okay. We look like twins. That's amazing! You don't think we look alike? Look at the watch. Where'd you get the watch? <laughs> the thrift shop. I got like, the exact same watch. Oh my god, I actually have that watch still. I could have given it to you. That's amazing. Look at the collar. <laughs> oh my god. The only thing that's missing is the tattoo that I wished I had then, but I wasn't allowed to get. So oh, the second one is the beautiful uh, cowgirl outfit. Yes. The thing that I'm really excited about is the shirt that I got, I got at the thrift store and it has the exact same W. Oh, and Wrangler. Magic. It was Wrangler. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe I got a Wrangler shirt. But, but Wrangler. Um, are you ready for this one? Yes. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. We look the same. You even have the same like expression. I tried. <laughs> With the like, you know, the kind of smile, but smirk smile. That's what I was doing. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good! Do you see it, Ollie? What do you think? It's mummy. So it's amazing. That's number two. That's really you got the you got the expression, the feeling. This is my least favorite. Yeah, this is what's gonna be hard because it was, it was really straight on. hard because it was straight on. So all you're really going off of is just like facial features. So this one it doesn't, doesn't even it doesn't, even, like it doesn't even look like you. Here, no. I tried to get the makeup as close as possible, which which helped. Anyways, here we go. I think that that's amazing. Your, I mean, your lips are not, I don't have Jamie Page lips. See, our eyes are absolutely the same. Look at the makeup. I think that's amazing how you got the pictures to look so much like the 70s, as you were saying. Like, I just looked at this and thought this one was me. It's very weird. <laughs> it's very, very It's kind of cool to see them next to each other, like, in, in real life. Actually, it doesn't even look as bad as I thought it did. No, it doesn't at all. <laughs> it just looks that so one fun. looks exactly the same. It just looks like another shot. It's, it's so, so funny. weird. Like, look at this. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was definitely a challenge. I don't think I did a perfect job, but I think that it was really, really fun to do, very different than anything else I've ever done here on my channel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this whole process and transformation. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let me know how I could take this type of video, maybe do it in a different way. Maybe I should recreate other people's photos i don't know let me know down below in the comments what you like to see give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are not subscribed already and want to see more videos like this okay bye, bye. ollie say bye ollie, ollie. Burp, burp. <laughs>